Are you ready? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? My name is DJA9ZT and we're back with WWE Champions and another four-star character gameplay video. That's right, we're taking the deep dive on Velveteen Dream NXT. So let's go ahead and take a look in the poster. We've already done a quick review of these posters, so we're going to go through this stuff really quickly this time. If you want to go back and look... I did make an NXT character preview where I did read all of this info off. But uh, we're going to go over it again quickly here. So his trainer ability, dual uh, gem damage. So green and yellow gems will do more damage. The links, we got modern era NXT. So he will link with your OG NXT people, Rollins, Ambrose, and Reigns. And the uh, monthly NXT 2019 link, no gear but the standard. Let's go ahead and take a look into the moves. Now, all the NXT people's moves are basically copy-paste of each other in different colors, but they all have their specialty uh, like that they make here. So this trickster here, he's going to make trap gems, and the other guys are going to do what's more class-specific to them. So all of these tutorials are going to be pretty similar coming out for these NXT people, but it's going to just show you the proper people to put in for training and uh <clears throat> so let's go ahead and take a look here purple finisher deal 27k damage make five random gems into red gems we got a neck breaker there uh we're dealing 14k choosing five gems to make into trap gems opponent breaks deals damage you break you steal health we got a red move make five random yellow into purple and then we got another purple that makes random blue into red we got another two charge move that changes protect gems into trap gems. So we got a we got a stealer here. So he is a blocker for protect gem people. And we got at four star you unlock the other red move, which is another move that's gonna make random gems into purple gems. So looking at it here, uh, he really at his most effective is gonna be at four star when you can sub that in, but. The thing I notice is even at four star with that extra move subbing in, it's kind of like a three star set that you would normally run on people. These are what I like to call gem chuckers. The people that got two moves of a color that are going to just chuck gems out there of another color. So the first move set I'm going to use today is the one that I showed you the quick preview of in the video the other day. I'm going to sub this other red move in. We're going both red moves. We're going with the purple finisher. So we got two red moves that both make purple gems to fill that purple finisher and that purple finisher is going to make random gems into red gems and uh, maybe give you a chance to hit a little quick recycle before you go in so he's going to hit like your typical like your Miz, Tech Booker, Striker Bray Wyatt, Lita, these people with the double moves that chuck gems of one color but uh, this guy here is a little unique on the finisher that he's going to make gems of that said color to try and help with the recharge so here we go with the trainers, we got Sting and Daniel Bryan. Sting for the red move points. Daniel Bryan will create more purple gems, so we're chucking nine on each of those moves. And since we do have Velveteen on loan, I can show you that he, if he trains himself, aka the powerhouse train and the trickster, he can reduce submission turns by three. And I got Becky on there, trickster only, so we're reducing power gems of our opponents. So this is probably... The best move set that I could come up with. We're going to go out onto the road here. We're going to go into Summer Showdown like we've been doing. And we're going to find us an opponent. Let's go into Boston and take a look. Who do we got here? 111. That's a tag match. We want to do solo matches. We could take him out here against uh, Batista. Let's go ahead and go against this Batista one more time. I need to three-star this guy once. Let's see if we can go against a four-star Batista here and put him down quickly. Okay, we're looking for red, and we're not going to get red on turn one. But we can steal green on him, so let's go ahead and steal green. And it did put red in place, but I knew he was going to take it because he is 
a powerhouse and his inclination is to take the red first so let's block the green again but we're taking purple and we get the red cascade so we got exactly what we wanted there so now next turn we could put our uh, our big move down on him here now he's got green so he's going to hit a submission so we want to go ahead and hit the death of the dream valley driver first to make the yellow gems into purple gems before you hit the random gems, you want to hit the color specific one first, always with the gem chucker. You don't want to waste any gems you could put out. And we did get a bunch of purple, so the finisher's charged. I don't know, should I just hit the finisher now? Or do you think I would hit more damage? There's still a lot of purple on the board. Let's just go ahead and hit this one. There's not a lot of red on the board, so I doubt the finisher would even break any red for me. Okay, so we hit him for 49k there. I don't think the finisher was going to hit 49k, to be honest, unless I got super lucky. So he kicked way out, and he's going to hit the submish. And it's only going to be one turn now, because I have a max powerhouse Velveteen Dream coaching him. So we're reducing three submission turns there. So that, my friends, is why... You really need to get the powerhouse Velveteen Dream. Oh, I didn't want to do all of that red. No, stop breaking so much. Oh, I didn't want the extra turn. Man, I had it all set up there. Cascades can really bite you sometimes. Okay, there's a bunch of red out. Let's go ahead and hit this finisher and see if we can hit this cascade on the red here. Oh, we did get some red. Boom, look at that. 46k and we got both moves charged up again he's definitely kicking right out though he's gonna hit me hard once here i really wanted that three star i wanted to be done with this batista match forever uh but he uh he had other plans let's see let's see are we still i think we're still gonna get it i think we're still gonna get the three star <clears throat> okay yellow into purple so as you can see for a gem chucker he did manage to recycle i did get a good board when i hit the finisher there not gonna lie on that but it wasn't a guarantee but he did pretty well he did pretty well they went in they broke a bunch of red i got my moves charged again and now i can put him down that's a big three star for me right there So that's probably definitely my favorite moveset. But like I said, you have to get him to the four-star level to even be able to run him like that. So that setup there is very quick. It would be great for doing LTs. These people are going to be awesome for doing your dailies. If you don't have a maxed out gem chucker already, they're going to be pretty nice. Because these guys, it's mindless. You just hit the two moves. You don't got to hit anything else. And your LTs will be done. Alright, well let's find another opponent. So we're going to get out of Boston. I think we're pretty much done there. Let's go look in Brooklyn and see who we got available to go against. What's this match? The Iron Sheik. And let's manage him and let's go look at another possibility here. I think instead of the finisher on this... I wanted to see what it would be like if we just put this move in for the health steal. But I don't know. I really don't think it's going to work out too well. We could put this in to make the trap gems and we could steal health. Because this is assuming that we're not counting on the finisher to cascade the red to recharge them. And that we're going to have to stall for time while we refill the red. That was my thought process on this. So I'm going to go out and we're going to try this Iron Sheik match like this. And I don't have high hopes. I feel like we're going to hit him hard once. He's going to kick out and then we're going to be in trouble. We're going to need a good board here. But I want to see if you can actually charge that black move up. If the health steal will buy you some time to stay in it. Or if it's even a viable option. So let's rule it out now if we have to. Okay, Sheik got his purple. So he's probably going to pound me. Now, it's kind of counterproductive because we're going to make all this purple, but the purple doesn't help us, and it kind of helps him. I guess I didn't pick a great opponent, being as we're going to put extra purple all over the board. So if we pull this one off, 
If we pull this one off, Velveteen's no joke. I was really hoping to break some of that black on that. Because he's about to blow the board up on me. Okay, so we did pound him. We took nearly half of his health with our first move there. And we did manage to cascade it and get some extra red broken, so... It is started to recharge. We get one more red break and we're going to be in good shape. Oh man, look at that. He charged it up again, too. Hmm. No black or red. I'm going to take purple off the board there. So he doesn't do me again. I need to get lucky and get a red break when I get up. That's what I really need. If I get up, I guess, on that. Look at that. He recharged it again. He's getting so lucky. Yeah, this match is a... It's pretty much a, a rip, I think, here. See, with this move set, you put that on, there was just no chance that I was going to fill that fast enough. I don't think I'm going to make it. There is my next red. Now, I could put the black down now. I could have broke it finally. I was hoping that I would get a chance to, to fill that black up before I hit my moves again. So all this really did was just make him a lot slower on that last set. That finisher really, uh, I think the finisher was the better option to put in with these two moves. But this was the only other move that I thought that made sense to go in here with these two moves at all. So we can rule it out. But we're going to get a new move set and we're going to go back in and we're going to fight this Iron Sheik again. Because he just made me mad with this match. So let's go ahead and uh, no, we don't want to use any bucks to go on that. And we're going to go into another move set and go at him. Okay, we're going to heal him up. Manage. Entourage. So, we're going to replace Sting because now we're going to go with, uh, I'm actually going to drop it down to somebody a little bit easier because I'm going to do uh, some demonstration of how you could run this man at three star before you get that other move in. So, we're going to save the Sheik for my next video, and we're going to use a, our good setup with another superstar against him and try to take him out in the next video. Uh, and we are looking for... Let's just do this. John Studd. And we're going to put the finisher in. And we're going to put the other purple in. Hold on, I got mixed up on which move. Uh... Hold on, let me go to my roster page. I can, I can check this really easily. Let's just look at uh, Ricochet's moves because they're all the same. Okay, it's, it's like I thought. Okay, I couldn't remember whether which red move was the four-star move and which red move was the stock move there for a second. So I had to make sure. I thought it was this, but I wanted to be absolutely sure. So we're going to use Woods and we're going to use Stud. Now, this is the setup that you could use at three-star. Um, and it's not fantastic either. So you're going to be doing one move that makes red and then a finisher that makes red. And then hopefully you can charge up that red by then. And that red is going to make purple gems. Uh... Now, with this move set now, I'm going to do this one way that I see. I'm going to do this with Woods and Stud, and I'm going to try to flood with red gems early and hope that I get lucky when I hit the red move to fill the purples back up. But you could do this move a totally opposite way. I mean, you could run this with Sting and Daniel Bryan still and try to just hit that one move and hope there's a bunch of yellow that you could turn to purple and then hit the purple moves. 
Uh, you could not use any generate, and you could use Big Show on there for purple move damage to really up the damage on that. So there's a lot of different options you could do here with a three star setup. But uh, this would be like your speed setup, non. Uh, this would be like what you do for LTs, probably non situational, not using trap gems or anything like that. And uh, let's go out and find somebody on the road to do this set against. Again, I'm gonna go against somebody who's not quite. As strong as some of these other guys were because you're probably not going to be using this set at the four star level so tag matches well we got an 89 here Finn Balor okay let's go up against Finn Balor no not with Ricochet that's for another video. Stay tuned. Ricochet's coming soon. Okay, let's go bring Velveteen back out here. All right, Velveteen. Match number three. Move set number three. Remember, this is what I would recommend at the three-star level for him, so... Okay, we're starting with purple. We're looking for a purple break early. We're going to get it. And we got some love there on some extra damage. Now, I obviously outweigh him from three star to four star on health. But what we're looking for is, can I put this guy down with the first rotation of moves? And how badly did I put him down? This is just kind of, I know the... The damage isn't going to quite be there. I'm going to stall for a turn here and take this red. Because I want to hit both of those purples at the same time. Because I want to put a bunch of red down on that finisher and hopefully cascade into a big finish. Now he's at 66k going in here. So now I'm making all this blue into red. And that was all of his uh, multiply gems. So that was actually a good thing to hit. And now, uh, we could make yellow into purple again here, but that might, uh, I wanted to just hit the finisher here, and this would probably, uh, this will probably be enough. Because this was the idea, we're going to flood the board with uh, red here. Boom! Oh, really? Look at all that red, it could have did better than that. And that put him down really quickly, so, and then the reds filled again, and that was going to throw five purple back out, so if you had to go another round in the match, there was a good chance that I was going to get a purple break off of that move and speed it back up again. So, it's not a terrible move set. it's just if you had him at four star, that move set's not going to stack up against the first move set that I used. So, but that's definitely another option. Now, we'll talk about one more move set that I'm just going to talk about, I'm not actually going to demonstrate... But uh, it's another thing that you could do at 3-star, his situational moveset. We're going to talk about what if we used... Let's go back into the roster page so we can look at it while we talk about it. But let's go in and talk about using the two black moves with the uh, purple finisher. <clears throat> and... For this moveset, I would put Bray Wyatt, Striker, and Jinder Mahal on there. So Jinder's going to make more trap gems on the moves. Bray's going to give you the black move points to go ahead and jump out ahead. And uh, I want to be able to hit the choose the trap gems real early. And so that's going to steal health. And you can also make protect gems into trap gems. And you're going to make it even more than five. So if you're going up against your showboats that put all them protect gems down, you could turn around... And you can steal all of them and turn them into your trap gems that can also steal you health back or deal big damage. Now, Bray might be overkill for hitting that super kick on turn one because it's only a two charge. But if you bring them simple props with that just throw three random protect gems down, because everybody's got like a hundred of those suckers saved up by now. You just throw a couple of them out on turn one before you hit that super kick and then bam, you got trap gems on the board on turn one. And then you're going to get a bunch more on turn two if you get a black break. The finisher is going to be slow to charge up, but this is what you're, you're just going to be playing to steal protect gems from people and play the health steal game and then just pick your shots with the finisher here and there when you can. So that's just situational. I'd, it'd be really hard to go out there and find the perfect match for that right now, but if you get in this situation 
where this might help you out a little bit. There you go. So that's all I got for Velveteen Dream today. What did you guys think about him? Are you excited to try and get this man? He's supposed to be free. We'll see what you got to do to earn him. And uh, let me know down in the comments if you've got any other ideas on how to run them. I'd love to hear your ideas. Love hearing from you guys all the time. So stay tuned. we got a bunch more videos coming out and uploading daily at this point. If you're still here and you haven't already, smack that subscribe button down below. Click the bell on. Get notified when I'm dropping content. And until next time, guys, peace. If you enjoy my content and would like to support the channel, the best way to do so is to give it a like rating with a thumbs up underneath. And hey, consider subscribing to stay up to date with the latest content.